Ukraine is one of the world's biggest suppliers of wheat, but the war-torn country's own people are going hungry as Russia's brutal invasion drags on. NBC's Ellison Barber brings us along on a risky mission to deliver food into Ukraine. 117 days in, each day brings new images of war upending Ukrainians' everyday lives. Impact that extends beyond the bombs and bloodshed. The World Food Program says one in three Ukrainian households are now food insecure. NGOs like Convoy of Hope are working tirelessly to ease that burden. But procuring and delivering humanitarian aid to a war-torn country is never easy. For Christian Rodriguez and his team, meal delivery in Bucha starts 355 miles away in Poland. So does our plan to follow a box of a Ukrainian staple, buckwheat. We get about 10 truckloads of food every single week. We watched a tractor trailer begin to make the long journey east. So we try to go as far east as we can, depending on safety. How risky is the journey to get aid to eastern Ukraine? Very risky. A drive full of checkpoints we can't film on a route we can't show you, because doing so could make a risky drive deadly. Have you had any instances where a truck is trying to get in somewhere and they've been attacked, shelled, or anything along those lines? Yes, and that's where we get requests for things like bulletproof vests, for helmets, just for the drivers, just to be safe. Who are the drivers that you're working with? Ukrainian people. This trip is a success. Volunteers unload pallet after pallet and separate the aid into bags, each one with a box of buckwheat. Poor people, uh, they no job, no money. Smaller vans will take the aid on to harder to reach communities ravaged by war. As volunteers transfer the final bags, they send it off with a song. Over 600 people showed up for this distribution. There's only enough food for half. We saw the desperation, the fear, and frustration when the aid ran out, and the relief of those who got it. My young children don't understand what's happening, but my oldest son knows that it's very difficult to get the food we used to be able to eat all the time. With three growing children, this food won't last long. A lot of people say to me, we help a lot. Yes, you help, you help. But war not stop. We need help. Ellison Barber, NBC News, Bucha, Ukraine.